Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Oracle Smith, and I am finishing up a meditation that I completed after yoga, and I couldn't literally go home without sharing with you the beauty of what I received in my meditation today. Uh, I'm a self-mastery coach, you can say mentor is a better word, as I, I keep trying to figure out what to call myself because words are just inadequate. Please excuse my wet top and big boobs. Well, not they're not big, but you know, they're there. <laughs> but no, to digress, um, I just came out of this really beautiful meditation and I had to share with you what I got and I felt that sitting in the yoga room with the beautiful Himalayan sea salt as my background um, would just give that vibration to you. So the first thing that I'd say is that as you watch this video that you get into a space where you really can receive it and that you intend to get the energy out of it, that you intend to feel what I'm sharing with you uh, through this message and through the words so that it's not just you watching me, but it's you actually getting something from the exchange, you know, like that we're exchanging something instead of um, you being a spectator and me being a know-it-all because I do not know anything. The more that I learn, the more that I know that I know nothing, uh, but I still share because um, I am committed to truth and the truth will set me free and the truth will set you free. So what I wanted to share is that one, you probably know by now that we're very, very uh, much a part of nature that we act the same way that nature does. The thing that we have that the trees do not have, uh, that pets have at a lower octave than we have is a mind. We have the ability to uh, think consciously, right? A tree has consciousness, but only so much. It has a, a natural order to surrender and cycle. The conscious mind that we have as human beings or as beings is the ability to manipulate that natural um, cycle that occurs in nature, right? I was talking to uh, my stepfather, uh, my, my dad is, what, is how I feel. Um, we were talking today a little bit about this and I was explaining to him how manipulation is just a cover up for the magicians that we are. Like we actually can take the nature that is naturally cycling and we can shift it in our favor. We can shift it in the favor of others. We can create with it and that's magical. But as we are in a world that likes to control, as people have knowledge, they like to control with it. They wanna be the magician instead of allowing everyone to be magical people. That word magician was made negative and then manipulate was put in place and manipulate was also communicated to us as a negative word. The thing about word and the thing about who we are is that we truly start at a neutral point, just like the rest of nature, just like the tree and the animal. We start at a neutral point and through our power of magic, we're able to go positive or negative and use those polarities in order to create the things that we want to see. And ultimately, that's how we've created the world that we live in. That's how what you see is what you get based on that relationship between balance and the positive and negative charges that creates worlds, um, the masculine and the feminine that creates worlds, right? So that's a little, you know, background on what I got in my meditation today. So 
in my yoga class today, I came in just a little late. You know, again, I was talking to my stepfather about all of these magical, wonderful things and ran into yoga class maybe, you know, three to five minutes late and, you know, had to get into my breath, which was, you know, a little difficult initially. And uh, then when we were doing a particular squat, I sat down on my water, which then ran down the uh, floor towards the other person. I had to leave the room, get towels, you know, it was the thing. Thank God there was only three of us in our instructor today. There wasn't a lot of people in class because I go to a, a small um, studio. And so, you know, it was just, I still had a fantastic practice, don't get me wrong, um, but I noticed at the end of practice, you know, all of those little things that were kind of like, just, you know, interrupting the flow. You know what I mean? And I come to yoga because that kind of stuff happens. And usually in a place like yoga, you can see it occur the same way it possibly was occurring for me um, up until the point that I came into class. And so if you have, if you don't practice yoga, I really, really recommend it. So because I noticed how I was kind of all over the place in class, I decided and I do that. I, I decided to do what I normally do uh, and to really dig into it. And that was to sit out and meditate. And so before, you know, I walked home, I, you know, sat in this place. And yesterday I went to a meditation class and we were talking about interruption and how you know, challenge and interruption is the best way to really do the work of still being still and being quiet. And so you could hear the cars out. I could hear the cars outside. The studio is full of people because um, there's also saunas here. So there's people checking into their saunas. You know, there's the people coming out of the class. There's a dog. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff going on around me. And here I am sitting with my hands on my knees, really allowing the peace of my yoga practice to settle into my body. And I began to move the energy up and down my body to align myself. I let the things that I was feeling come up and I started moving this energy up and down my body and reminding myself that I'm whole, right? Which is a great practice. Uh, if you're interested in learning how to do that, please feel free to send me an email or a message or comment down below. And uh, I can make a video about that part of meditation where I calm my mind by focusing on sending the energy up and down my body, um, you know, reminding myself that I'm whole because I have the ability to move this energy, reminding myself that I am this energy that I'm moving and really just getting into that up and down uh, space. I do have a video on the channel about trust and freedom and how meditation is a gateway to that. And I talk a little bit about that flow as well in that video. So check that out. And I may link it so that you can see it. It's a little bit long. So it depends on how much time you have when you should watch it. If it's right now is a good time. Nonetheless, what I noticed as I was doing that was all of the challenges of the distraction, me listening in to this conversation and listening to the cars and listening to all of these other things. And I'm like, no, you know, your whole, like you can get inside of yourself no matter what's going on around you. And that's the thing that I'm making this video for because man, when I gave myself permission, right, to be present within myself and focus on moving that energy, it's like all of that stuff became this like background, like it became a humming, it became like a, like a song, like it was no longer the cars versus the traffic versus the noise versus, you know, this, it became like a song that was just like, like a, just, just a, a sound, it all blended together and was like an accent or a grounding mo grounding modality to my meditation. It was bizarre because every once in a while my mind would pop back into it and I was like, wait, all of that was just like in harmony, right? And so then my mind settled because it's like, oh my gosh, I'm harmonizing with the, you know, this of the world, right? Like I'm sitting here in all of this chaos in complete harmony with it. That blew my mind and it didn't blow my mind. It made me want to go deeper, right? So I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay, 
I am in harmony with all of this chaos. Like, let's see where we can take this. And so I got dipped back into the breathing, you know, bringing it up through my head, pulling it down. And so my mantra came, it was like out of nowhere, right? Rogue braids, out of nowhere, this mantra shows up, right? And the mantra was, as I was moving the energy through my body, the mantra was, I am love and it would happen it like automatically would come when the energy hit my heart and then it was like I am word and that would show up when the energy hit my solar plexus or you know right here below my rib cage like in the cavity of the small intestine it was like I am love and then it's like right in my root and in my sacral chakra like right into this area it was I am word right? And so I'm breathing in through my heart and my heart's like, I am love. And then as I breathe down, it was like, I am word. You know what I mean? It was like, and I just forgot what, you know, I'm, see, in meditation, it was like coming naturally, right? But it was like, I, I am love. I am word. I am love. I am word. I am love, I am word, I am love, I am word. It was just flowing in and out. And so then out of my throat, like I could feel the energy coming out of my throat. And it was kind of like sitting in, in my throat and sitting in my mouth as I was doing this ujjayi breath. This ujjayi breath, if, you're, if you haven't practiced yoga before. I was breathing in and out through your nose, right? And so I'm breathing this soft ujjayi breath, not that loud. It was just really soft ujjayi breath. And it was like this, it had set, like this energy had set around my throat. And it was like, I am word. And it was like, say that your word. And then it was like, oh, I am whole was the other one. And so all of these different uh, mantras, these different truths, started to naturally occur. And so instead of hearing the traffic, that was just like a harmonizing, like everything around me harmonized as I focused within. And then the truth about me began to explode out of me. It was like, I am word. I am whole. I am love. And all through every part of me, I could feel it. I could feel the truth. You know, and it was like, okay, you know, let the energy come through your head, right? And so here the energy starts exploding through my head and then it starts swirling around me. Like everything in me was activated as I'm sitting here in this chaotic kind of laughs and talking about Instagram and all the different things that everybody was doing was just humming as I grounded into myself. And it's like, you really need nothing. Everything you need, you are. So it was like, as when you come out of this meditation, right? And that my mind's like wanting to coach me and it's like, nah, but I could feel it. And so I wanted to share with you that what all of this was saying to me is that when I came out of this meditation, that I had the opportunity to be brand new, that I had the opportunity to walk into my life as this whole new being that is completely aware. And like there was like this pinch of sadness that was like, man, I'm going to have to do this a lot. Like I'm going to have to, you know, come to this space and do this practice, you know, consistently to make sure that I don't forget as I tap into the chaos that I'm about to walk into. But the piece of all of that was that it was like, but now I know. Right. Like I can't necessarily because I, I have consciousness and I'm plugged into this collective reality. You know, there's no promise that I won't ever plug into that. There's no promise that I ever I won't ever experience being disaligned. But there is a promise that is now activated within me that knows that I have no needs. That I am completely whole and that I can be in the hum of the chaos of this world and be centered in love and word and wholeness that there is no need that there there's nothing missing or lacking so 
<laughs> I thought that you may want to know that because I am you and you are me and we're one and the same. And so it's not just me that's out here getting this freedom. You absolutely have access to it. And there's practices that have been curated and passed down through the lineages that really can give you access to the truth of who you are. And if you're willing to take it on, baby, listen. <laughs> You can walk into the world and be whoever it is that you desire to be. And who you really desire to be is not something that you've learned outside of you. It is the thing that naturally happens in you. All you want to be is word. The only thing that you want to be is love. The only thing that you want to be is whole. And you want to have no needs. Other than that, the rest of it is just personality. The rest of it is just you presenting your magic to the world because you've been blessed to experience nature beyond that of the tree. You've been best blessed to have the power to surrender and to use your surrender to create magic from being balanced within the positive and the negative things that you're capable of creating for yourself. It's not about being a manipulator. It's not true. And manipulation is not negative. Ma magic, if used for the greater good of all, can change the world. So go out there and be a magician today. I know I'm going to be, and I love you very much. Until next time, put comments in the thing below, and I, I don't know, let me know what you need. I'd love to help you on your journey. Take care.